After the first week, the Kansas City Royals were in first place in the American League West Division, five wins and two losses. I was born on an apple orchard in uh, East Springfield, Pennsylvania. Uh, my mom and dad uh, did not send me to Sunday school and church. They took me to Sunday school and church. Uh, I was raised in a Christian home. You threw a lot of apples in that apple orchard, didn't you? <laughs> More than my dad would want to know. <laughs> we had a radio, and I could get three different major league teams games. The Pittsburgh Pirates, the Cleveland Indians, well, four, Detroit Tigers, and the New York Yankees. And I would get one of those games, and I would uh, listen to it. I would have a bat in my hands, and I would be the different batters. Uh, Joe DiMaggio, uh, Tommy Henry, Phil Rizzuto, all these guys, I would be, I would bat different and, and swing different. My mom was always scared that I would break her dining room furniture. So I had this in me from a little boy uh, when I was listening to those games and swinging those bats in the dining room and everything, and I wanted to be a baseball player like them. I wanted to compete against the very best. played high school baseball and basketball and uh, uh, by senior year in high school I hit 750 <laughs> that's three for four all year long <laughs> so I was a pretty good hitter but I wasn't facing minor league or major league pitching I, I became a Christian at age 12 and I got to love baseball more than I got to love God and then I went to Taylor University after I signed my first baseball contract with Branch Rickey. Uh, I couldn't sleep the night before I'd pitch and I couldn't sleep the night after I'd pitch because of the, I think uh, all the hitters, both pre previous, before the game and after the game, after they had creamed me. <laughs> and so uh, after that year, I wondered, am I really supposed to be a baseball player? And then I went to Taylor University and in this New Testament survey course, it took us all the way through the New Testament. That didn't come long before I came across a verse that said, Matthew 6.33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And so I thought I wasn't seeking God, I was seeking Dave and his kingdom in Major League Baseball. I got down on my knees and I asked the Lord, I told the Lord that I wanted to please Him with my life. I wanted Him to rule and reign over my life. If He wanted me to be a coach, which I was studying to be, I wanted to be a coach. If He wanted me to be a missionary, I wanted to be a missionary. If He wanted me to be a teacher, I wanted to be a teacher. If He wanted me to be an apple picker back on my dad's farm, I wanted to be an apple picker. I wanted to be what He wanted me to be. And I said, if you want me to be a baseball player, I want to be a baseball player. But I didn't say that with any more meaning that I wanted to do than any of the other things. And uh, that's when I really committed my life to God. I was about 19 then. Well, after that, I tried to please God with every game that I played. I would pray before it. Sometimes I would pray out on the mound and stuff like that too and God directed my life. I actually believe as I look back now, he probably directed a lot of my pitches. Well, one of my very favorite baseball moments was uh, after that time at Taylor University, when I could go out the next season after spring training and everything and relax before I pitched. Uh, I, I, I knew that God was with me. And, and, and he was working a plan and a purpose for me. And, I, and I, that was a very, very precious time for me. Mm. Uh, a big difference from where I couldn't sleep the night before or after I pitched to where I could relax. And if we got beat, which sometimes we did, you know, I would praise the, I would, I'd be disappointed for a little bit, but I could praise the Lord uh, for what, went on in that game. <laughs> Something that I always wanted to do was to play against the very best. And there were some very good players when I played. Mickey Mantle, 
uh, Roger Maris, Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, all those guys were great, great talents and great ball players. And the Lord helped me play against those guys and do well against them. I was looking for a verse that would be me and God. And so that's why I came across Colossians 3, 17, whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. That's even on our gravestone. <laughs>Tell me about some of your favorite moments in life. Well, probably uh, meeting my wife Carol Sue and and a love growing between us and then marriage and uh, then four kids and uh, we're gonna have nine grandkids by the first part of November. We're having another little girl come into the family and uh, uh, I love being with my family. I love being with. My, my kids and my grandkids and I want them to all to know that uh, I'm just a man I'm I am not without sin I am a sinner but I want them to see how God has conquered and how God has won each all through my life all through my life and I want them to grasp onto the same God that I've grasped onto and held tight to me. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, uh, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge Him in all your ways and He will direct your paths. Let His word abide in you and you abide in Him. And you ask whatever you want, and it will be given on to you.